Mix 106. It's 1 800 Law 1010, 1 800 Law 1010.com. Go get the app at uh, at the 1 800 Law 1010.com. And uh, did a lot of people uh, uh, use your uh, your free rides on New Year's Eve? Paul, welcome back to the show. Hey, good to be back. Good to be back. Yeah, we, we did. There were hundreds of rides given out. I haven't gotten all the particulars yet. They're uh, putting all their receipts together, the different cab companies, but uh, we know it was uh, successful. That's an awesome thing that you guys do, and it even made me f- flirt with the idea of going out. <laughs> this is great. We can just go with Paul and give us a ride <laughs> yeah, home. if so. it gets too ugly, yeah. Paul. You know Paul, we want, to have right. you on, and we want to have you on the show earlier than normal because we want to ask about what's going on with the standoff in this mm-hmm. Oregon County. What we had read is, and I know it's pretty detailed, but the two guys who, who turned themselves in and went to jail yesterday uh, received a five-year mandatory sentence for burning federal land, that's, but it's also land that Adjacent they worked. to their land. Adjacent to their property. So where, where yeah. are we at with this, Paul? What's your take on this? Well, you know, first of all, you know, we've got this uh, standoff going on here in Oregon, right? So they, they walk into this federal building, but it looks just like an outpost. There's all these several buildings out there. It's a wildlife outpost. And there's about 100 of them. They're armed uh, folks who are just saying we're not leaving. And they're protesting uh, lots of things. Number one, the Hammond family. That, that's yeah. the two folks who went to jail, and they were uh, they went to jail uh, for doing some what they call controlled burns on their property. Then it spread to the uh, federal properties. The federal government felt that they did that purposely. Uh, but the general theme, uh, they don't like the uh, government controlling uh, all this uh, land uh, out in Midwest, and these ranchers are uh, having to pay these grazing fees, and there's all this really subculture stuff going on that I wasn't aware of until I read the right. story. If, if this didn't happen, truth be told, I never would have looked into any of this, and it never would have ran across it in normal uh, news media. So they're making a stand. They're saying, look, at ranchers are being abused here. We're going to put ourselves on the forefront of this. We're going to occupy this building. And they've got guns, but as the you know, as you look at this, uh, there's no police. There's no federal police. There's no seem to be armed confrontation but Paul, going on. That's I mean that that's on purpose. I think. Sure. And, and, and yeah. let's break it down to legally. Legally, can they? It'd be like the, a bunch of us going over to the uh, to the battlegrounds up in Saratoga and going in there and, and sitting in that building because uh, it's a you know it's a federal building. I mean, yeah. Can they no, legally or, do that? And and how well, do they get in? Do they have to break a window? Is there breaking and entry? I mean, what? Sure, there's what all kinds really? of charges that could be brought, and I think that if we did try it, not only at the the, the place you described, but let's let's just try the federal building downtown Albany, right? Right. Uh, no, they would come in, they would take us out, uh, they would use whatever means possible to do it. But but because this is so uh, reminiscent, you know, of this Waco, Texas, yes. or when these free men were were kind of occupying lands, and Waco resulted in a horrible result, lots of deaths, a lot of criticism rich. of the government, uh, and this Freeman in Montana back in '96. They waited 81 days. They sat in this facility, and everyone kind of walked away. You know, there really weren't a whole lot of criminal charges afterwards. So, the, yeah, they're taking that plan that they're just going to kind of sit back and watch this. But for some reason, you know, it doesn't seem to be making the national news that I thought it would. It's pretty bizarre. They're kind of taking over a town, uh, and yet it's, it's there's start, no— it's starting, to, yeah. it's starting to be like the third story. It, it's— it's yeah, starting to be a story, but I got to go back to closing schools for a week in the area. Yeah. That's a problem, right? Like, yeah, that's sure. not that's but not the kids' fault. I, I do want to go back because I don't agree with what these militia or what people want to call them terrorists are doing. I do want to highlight that what the initial protest was for, as far as the sentence for these two for this father son. Like mm. Paul, there's a problem with mandatory minimum sentences. There was a guy who got like sixty years because he was selling weed and had a pistol. And the judge in the story I was reading was going, you know, a rapist would only get 24. Yeah. There's these mandatory yeah. uh, minimum sentences. What's the point of them, Paul? Sure. Well, you know, they came about so they didn't have so much discretion amongst the judges, but instead it has handcuffed them. I think that a lot of judges are critical of it, certainly after they get off the bench. When they're on the bench, they stay a little bit quiet, but once they retire, sure. Uh, all kinds of stuff going on to change that, to give latitude, where just common sense should prevail. And these federal minimum mandatory sentences 
defy common sense. The man who's uh, pretty much running the show over there. I don't. I, he's that's lately. Bun, it's he, the Bundy kid. Uh, the kid. The son. Yeah, the son. Four yeah. Son. If that's the guy I'm thinking about, there's the guy with a hat and, and the beard that's talking. All of that stuff. Um, you know, they, they're waiting for action. Whatever that means. Does that mean? Do you think, Paul, that they want to to have these two these two guys released? Does that mean that they they want to have uh, you know imminent domain or the Bureau of Land Management re, revamped? I mean, what what is what what gets us out of this? short of, you know, us going in there with our own machine guns. Sure. Yeah, it's, it's a little unclear exactly, but but they, they want to sit down. They want to have a parlay. I think he used the word with the federal government, and they want to change the way that these uh, lands, these federally owned lands, um, are owned. They want these lands returned to the people. They want the ranchers to have access to grazing. And, you know, the Hammonds, who are in jail, have said, look, we're not, we're not part of this. You know, we, we, we're not part of that uh, thing going on there. Um, you know, they were just looking to do their time and, and get out. But, but ultimately, sure, um, that would be part of any negotiations. You know, cut the Hammonds a deal. The, the, the sentence is too aggressive. I like the, the post on Facebook from somebody. If there were a bunch of Muslims that had gone in there to, to make a, a, for, for a movement to support people, right. you know, that, it'd be, they'd be dead by now. So I, I do feel like watching some of these guys, some of these guys want to fight. Some of these guys want to go down in a blaze of glory to make their statement. It looks like that. It does. When you watch some of the videos. Yeah, a lot of them, true. Look, scared. No, a lot of them right. look scared, too, don't they? This, I don't think this story's going anywhere, yeah. and, I, and there's no reason for it to go anywhere because nobody wants to fire the first shot. What about there. this? Be America being America. This is what we do in America. Uh, you know, we protect ourselves by, by keeping our own personal freedoms, and if we have to do it, we have to do it. Can this all be squashed and just everybody go home without any charges? I don't think it'll ever be quite that clean. Um, interesting, different approach, um, but some of the people on the ranch probably, like any time you have a group of 100 people, probably some percentage are looking to make this their final stand. Yeah, I agree with that. All right, Paul Harding from Martin Harding and Mazzotti. They were responsible for our Safe Rides Home yeah, on New Year's again. Eve. 1-800-LAW-1010 and 1-800-LAW-1010.com. Happy thanks. New Year, buddy. Thanks, Paul.